Thanks, guys. Well, uh, yeah, I know your friends are all happy you came, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> so, the night that Donald Trump was elected president, I went to an anti Trump rally protest. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> no hero. Uh, but I really thought that at the end of this protest that he was going to stop being the president. Like, I really had you know, high hopes for this protest. So I go to the protest, it's on 14th Street, uh, Union Square around there, and there's uh, music just blaring, and people have uh, banners, and they're chanting, and it's a happening time, it's pretty cool, you know? And then the leader of the protest goes, all right, we're marching to Trump Tower, let's go! And we're on 14th Street, <laughs> and Trump Tower <laughs> is all the way on 59th Street, and... I did not sign up for this, people. Like, <laughs> it's a bit too much. But I went. I went on the protest, and I gotta admit the truth. I almost, I almost became a Trump supporter right then. Yes, I almost out of, out of laziness and too really like the music was blaring. And there's only so much Mumford and Sons you can listen to, guys. Like there's, there's a limit, and I found it. Um, so I work at Whole Foods during the day. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> they do too. <laughs> That's a cool job, you know. And uh, in the Whole Foods I work at, I have seen the actor John Voight in my Whole Foods 47 times. <laughs> he's in there all the goddamn time. And he's a nice guy, you know. I've got to talk to him a few times. And one time I'm on a register, I'm a customer service, I work in customer service, and I'm checking out his groceries, and we're just making chit chat, you know. And then I ring up his kale, and the kale flashed on the screen and said $8. And John Voight said, Whoa! That kale is too expensive. I do not want that. And I was like, man, not even John Boy can afford these Whole Foods prices. <laughs> even he was like, I make John Boy money. I don't make Whole Foods money. Like, there's a line. Uh, do you guys know what you would do if you magically woke up in Matthew McConaughey's body? I think about this all the time. I'll tell you what I would do. I would do everything that I already do, but as Matthew McConaughey. So like I said, I work at Whole Foods, I would go to work at Whole Foods as Matthew McConaughey, and that'd be pretty cool, you know. I, you know, I would run around errands around New York City all day long, just as Matthew McConaughey, that'd be great, you know. And I would do stand-up comedy as Matthew McConaughey, but I would be using my own material. <laughs> So like that Trump joke you just heard, I would do that as Matthew McConaughey, and hopefully one of you fine people will be like, Matthew McConaughey is the biggest piece of shit in the world. <laughs> he is stealing jokes from Gene Morgan. What <laughs> is wrong with him? And that's how we destroy it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I'm sorry, I didn't Matthew <laughs> But uh, I got to go home a couple of months ago, and when I went home, I got to go do a show uh, in front of my parents. A lot of pressure. My parents never seen me do stand up before. It was kind of a, an emotional moment for me as well. I didn't know how good I would do. And I go up on stage and don't mean to brag, but I kind of killed it. Uh, and I crushed it real good. You know, like, it was one of my finer sets. And my mom, after the show, she goes, You know, Gene, I gotta say, you really surprised me. I'm so proud of you. I had no idea you were that funny. I love you. You are amazing. And my dad went, Very nice. <laughs> That's it, that's all my dad said. <laughs> Very nice. And I let that linger for 72 hours. <laughs> just me and him, just like, am I gonna say anything? You're gonna say anything? So like, the night before I fly back to New York City, we're out for dinner, and I just have to say something at this point. And I go, Dad, why didn't you love me the same way that Mom did? <laughs> Mom really loved me, why couldn't you show me the same affection? And my dad goes, well, I knew you are gonna be funny, I believe in you. Like, you're a funny guy. I had all the confidence in the world with you. You don't need my approval. You're a great stand-up comedian. I already knew that. Yeah, why does my mom believe me, guys? Like, why? <laughs> why does my mom have to be like, it's so surprising. <laughs> I didn't see this coming at all. That <laughs> uh, was great, though. So, I'm dating a girl right now. It's been going on for a few months. And the other day, we're out for a walk. And I do this thing that I didn't know I did, which is I like to hum to myself. I hum songs to myself. And I was humming the theme song to Indiana Jones, you know, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then she went, 
oh my god, that's Indiana Jones. You know, you remind me a lot of him, and now I gotta marry her. Like, that's <laughs> that's clearly how it's gonna go, right? Oh my god, I've been the closest celebrity I've ever been called was someone who said, You have the eyes of Ted Bundy. And <laughs> so now, <laughs> feel like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's she, she's, she's a great girl. <laughs> uh, so, I, uh, you know, my first day in New York City. I did an open mic at this place called the Grizzly Pear. It's this bar in Greenwich Village. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, you know, it's a kind of an interesting place. And the second I signed up and I put my name in that bucket, I started to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. Because I was doing it. I was living my dream of being a stand-up comedian in New York City. It was an emotional moment for me, you know? And I ran to Washington Square Park and I sat on a bench and tears were streaming down my face. I just, I couldn't stop the crying as hard as I tried. And in that moment, I knew for a fact that I was in New York City because literally not one person came up to me and asked me if I was okay. <laughs> they all literally just walked right on by. A homeless guy saw I was crying and yelled out, Get it together, pal! 